today I'm reviewing the Violet Voss Fun Sized Eyeshadow Palette. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. So if you want to help keep the channel independent, check out my products at the Amazon link below. So today is Makeup Monday, and I thought I would give the Violet Voss Fun Sized Eyeshadow Palettes a try. They're pretty affordable, and I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts on them based on my Sarah Score scale. Uh, they've got four different palettes. I picked up Creme Brulee and Berry Burst. So uh, I'll definitely swatch them so you can see if you might want to be picking them up or not. Um, so my first criteria is packaging. And I like these. They're kind of compact little packaging. So if you travel, pretty easy to throw in your bag. They've got a mirror in them. Um, so definitely very cute, uh, very travel friendly. Um, so very nice packaging. My second criteria is alcohol, and obviously these do not contain any alcohol. My third criteria is fragrance, and uh, these are fragrance-free. My fourth criteria is the manufacturing location, and that is where I'm a little bit uh, disappointed to see that these are all made in China, so there's just a higher likelihood of possible contaminants, so um, I did not give them the thumbs up for the manufacturing location. So, uh, my fifth criteria is ease of use, and, you know, you definitely have to build them up. Um, they're not the most pigmented shadows, and there tends to be a little bit of fallout with them. So, let me give you some swatches here. I'll swatch um, Creme Brulee first, and uh, definitely check these out. I've got the color uh, switchers, so check those out. I'm going to use that. Um, so, let me give you some swatches of uh, Creme Brulee first. So the light color, I like how they included, you know, a light color for the brow bone area and a dark, darker colors for uh, powder eyeliner, but the light color is just a little too light for me. So this one tends to be uh, nice metallic shades, um, kind of similar. Some of the colors that they've chosen, some of these palettes are quite similar to some other palettes you might already have. Uh, some of these colors remind me of the Tartlet Toasted palette. But you definitely need to build these up because they don't come the most pigmented. The mattes, for me, I noticed seem to be have more issues with the pigmentation than the metallics did. So, or not the metal, the shimmers. So, the mattes are... Thankfully, though, with these palettes, the mattes aren't most of the palette. They're mo more shimmery shades than anything else so that's definitely a good thing i just do that one now and then the darkest color so if you already have the tartlet toasted palette you might not need this or you might want it but nothing wrong with that so that is the creme brulee palette and i'm going to swatch the berry burst they've got two more uh palettes one is uh glittery metallic so that one's kind of pretty but Let's see. Yeah, see the mattes and all of these are just so unpigmented. It's makes them, they're buildable, which is nice, but sometimes when there's no pigment, you have to spend a lot of time building them. So the metallic shades on these are definitely where it's at. And then this one, the Berry Burst palette, this one reminded me of the uh, Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette a lot. However, in my opinion, the rose gold palette, the first rose gold palette, performs a little bit better than this one. So, and the colors are just a little bit easier to work with. But if you missed the first rose gold palette, then you might want to check this one out. There you go. And one more. There we go. And then here is the rose gold palette. So you can kind of look at these two together. But a lot of the colors tend to be pretty similar. So almost dupes some of them. So anyway, so uh, ease of use, it's definitely takes some building. My sixth criteria is pigmentation. And the pigmentation, the metallic or shimmery shades tend to be much more pigmented. And the matte shades tend to be a little bit of a disappointment or almost a letdown. So um yeah, I, I, the reviews on it are hit or miss. Some people liked it. 
you know, they're affordable, so that's the nice thing. And uh, if there's some shades in here that you don't have in your collection, it's nice to be able to afford to buy a palette and then uh, finish out your collection of different shades. So my seventh criteria is animal testing, and the Violet Voss brand is cruelty-free, which we love. My eighth criteria is performance, and uh, once you get them applied, they last pretty much all day. Uh, I used them with and without a uh, primer, and they lasted quite well with a primer, and without a primer, they lasted pretty good. Uh, some of the colors got a little muddy without a primer, so I definitely recommend using a primer with it, uh, but they do have a tendency to last well. So, And then my ninth criteria is the price, and this is where they're going to exceed because uh, each of these fun size mini palettes are $18 so it's nice to see a nice affordable palette option so if you want to give these as a gift they're perfect size for a little gift for uh, nieces or daughters or sisters things like that so that's that's nice to see which it kind of makes it forgivable some of the slight you know things with the mats not being super pigmented uh, makes it a little more forgivable when it's when you're not spending a hundred dollars or seventy dollars when you're spending less than 20 it makes it a lot more forgivable and then my 10th criteria is the it factor and uh, I didn't give them the thumb up for that I just uh, s some of the shades seem to be replicates of a lot of the palettes that people probably already have but I do like the price and the size is cute but uh, nothing totally unique there. Um, had this performed a little bit better, I probably would have given them the thumb up for that. But uh, overall, they're okay. Um, you know, if you don't have the Tartlet Toasted palette, if you don't have the Huda Beauty palette, pick them up because they've got some unique shades that you might not have. So um, worth it for that. So overall, these got a 6 out of 10 on the Saris score scale, which is pretty good. Um, although I'm interested if anybody's tried that uh, glitter metallic type palette and what they thought of that because sometimes making like a true metallic shade can really be difficult and uh, some some companies and brands do it well and some uh, try and fail. Um, Smashbox had their uh, those little photo edit things where there were metallic shades and those are just not good at all for the metallic shades. The mattes were great, the shimmers were great, but the metallic ones were just not not on and the cover shot palette that they came out with with the metallics that one was a fail but a lot of the other cover shot palettes were awesome so it just depends on depends on many different factors so anyway uh if you've tried any of these let me know what your thoughts are uh, so leave a comment i love hearing from you guys uh check out nobsbeauty.com and the amazon link below and uh anyway so i will see you guys tomorrow on total request tuesday thank you so much guys